That white-faced entity looks at Lin, requesting him to kill it. His whole body was shaking in pain, and the only thing he wanted was to be killed. This white-faced entity is the Great Elemental Mage, the Hell Dungeon Leader. He is level 39 with an average of 10,000 strength, agility, and physique, but its spirit is 40,000, which is the highest Lin has ever seen. His skills are Wind Shackles, Flame Burst, Meteorite Fire, Silence, and Magic Shield. Its unique characteristic is greatly enhanced health. The Elemental Mage raised his staff and told Lin that if he can't kill it, he will die. It didn't even give Lin a chance to understand anything and attacked him using its Flame Burst skill. But it's not a normal Flame Burst magic, it's a very high level magic. Seeing the Elemental Mage's status window, Lin understands that this is the boss of the Hell Difficulty Dungeon. But one thing he cannot understand is why it's a human-like elemental body. Well, Lin has to defend himself, so he first activates Skeleton Armor to be safe, then summons a Skeleton Warrior to attack the Elemental Mage. But when that Skeleton Warrior gets hit by the Elemental Mage's high-level Flame Burst magic, it immediately burns and dies. Nothing remains of it. Lin jumped back and avoided that Flame Burst spell. That attack was very strong. Lin thought, is this the attack power of a mage with 40,000 spirits? Well, now Lin doesn't have any other choice but to fight with all he's got. He summoned his skeleton warrior's army. Skeleton warriors jumped high in the sky to attack the elemental mage. Seeing the skeleton warriors coming its way, the elemental mage again raised his staff, this time using a high-level magic shield spell that not only defends but restricts enemies' movements. When Skeleton Warrior's swords hit Elemental Mage's magic shield, their swords get stuck in it, unable to come out. Even Lin admits that it's a tough magic shield. It has a defense that's even higher than a knight's. But it's not the end. Not until Lin attacks. Do you guys remember Lin's ultimate skill? Among his skills, the only one that can ignore all forms of defense is Soul Blaze. Lin uses the Soul Blaze skill and attacks the Elemental Mage. Flames of Soul Blaze first hit Elemental Mage's magic shield, but when Soul Blaze touches it, that shield immediately shatters. Elemental Mage was shocked to see his high-level spell broke like that. Soul Blaze hit Elemental Mage, and his body started to burn. This was the first time that Elemental Mage has taken damage. Elemental Mage now understands that Lin is the one who can kill it. It laughs and asks to kill it. Then he will be able to get an answer. But before he could say anything, Flame Burst, Ice Storm, Tornado, Thunderbolt magic spells hit it. Lin was thinking that because of Soul Blaze, Elemental Mage's magic shield is already broken, and it's the right time to attack. He summoned Skeleton Mages to attack it. There was a huge explosion. But when fire got down, Lin saw Elemental Mage's magic shield. In that short time, Elemental Mage again cast its magic shield. Like water, its magic shield was floating in the air, but Lin didn't stop. On his command, Skeleton Warriors again jumped to attack the Elemental Mage. To help Skeleton Warriors, Skeleton Mages also attacked using their magic power. Skeleton Warriors fully covered that Elemental Mage, but suddenly a purple light starts coming. And before Lin could see it clearly, Elemental Mage launched a purple laser beam. That purple laser beam didn't hit Lin. Instead, it goes behind him and hits a Skeleton Mage. That purple laser beam was Elemental Mage's silent skill. After getting hit by this spell, Lin's that Skeleton Mage stopped attacking Elemental Mage. Seeing that, Lin realized that it's a skill that specializes against mages. Elemental Mage didn't stop and used its silent skill to stop all the Skeleton Mage's movements. Not only that, Elemental Mage used its Wind Shackles skill and also restricted Skeleton Warrior's movements. Lin knows that his Thanatos Scythe military control skill only works against stuns affecting the mental state. So it doesn't work with this Wind Shackles. Lin thought that if his skeleton mages keep being silenced, then he can only rely on himself now. Lin stands in front of Elemental Mage. It's his first time having to fight a boss solely by himself. He used the Soul Blaze skill to attack the Elemental Mage. Again, Soul Blaze broke Elemental Mage's shield and hit it. Seeing Elemental Mage in pain, Lin thought that it's a good thing that Soul Blaze ignores all defenses. When Elemental Mage takes too much damage, it gets ready to use its trump card. Elemental Mage gets ready to use its highest level spell, Meteorite Fire. A huge amount of fire starts gathering above Elemental Mage's head. When the fire got big enough, it attacks Lin. Hundreds of fire meteorites start falling towards Lin from the sky. Lin was too shocked to see that attack. 
The scale and power of this are so much larger than that second job transfer mage. But Lin didn't back off. He took out some portions from his inventory. He laughed and said, If that's the case, then I won't dodge. I'll strengthen my skeleton armor. When Lin used those portions, his skeleton armor got stronger. Not only did it get stronger, it doubled in size. Lin stood without any fear to face off Elemental Mage's powerful Fire Meteorite spell. When those Fire Meteorites hit the ground, there was a huge explosion. Taking advantage of this situation, Elemental Mage also used the Silent skill to attack Lin. But not only the Fire Meteorites, Lin's skeleton armor also stopped Elemental Mage's Silent skill. Lin drives a spirit recovery portion, and his spirit starts recovering. He asks Elemental Mage if it wants to silence him. Lin laughs and tells it that his skeleton armor is immune to all control skills and negative effects. Lin uses his Soul Blaze skill and challenges Elemental Mage to let's see who can hold on until the end. Lin attacked Elemental Mage with his Soul Blaze skill. Elemental Mage's whole body started to burn in soul fire. It screamed in pain as its whole body was hurting like crazy, the burning pain of soul fire, it's unbearable. Seeing the Elemental Mage, Lin smiles and said, Looks like I'm the one still standing. The Elemental Mage was unable to defend against Lin's Soul Blaze skill and could only burn in it. Slowly, soul flames covered his entire body, and at last, he died. When Elemental Mage dies, his body turned into black smoke and vanished in the air, leaving nothing behind. A system notification comes, telling Lin that for killing the level 39 Elemental Mage, he got 3.9 million experience points. He also obtained a damaged Divine Flame Staff, Space Crystal, Talent Stone, and Intermediate Flash Skill Scroll. All four of these items are very good. The Broken Divine Flame Staff is a legendary item. The Space Crystal can be turned into a Teleportation Stone. The Talent Stone is a legendary item used when changing one's job for the third time, and the Flash Intermediate Skill Scroll will help in mastering skills without awakening. Lin was shocked to see so many rewards at once, and they are all very rare high-grade items. Suddenly, Yi Yi comes running from behind when she saw that the battle has ended. But when she got there, she was shocked to see the rewards Lin has obtained. But she was most shocked to see the Divine Flame Staff. She asks Lin how he got this. When Lin saw her that shocked, he asked her if this staff is special in some way. Yi Yi touched that Divine Flame Staff and told Lin that it is very special. It is the same as she saw it in the records. She explains to Lin that this is the Divine Flame Staff that was once the exclusive weapon of the God Memory Level Fire Magician, Master Yu Yan. Later on, during a great battle, he disappeared along with his staff. While Yi Yi was telling all that, suddenly the staff got too hot and burned her hand. She pulled back her hand and the staff started floating in the air. The staff's head started shining brightly, and from it, a human-shaped soul came out wearing white clothes. Seeing that soul, Lin stood in front of Yi Yi and activated the skeleton armor and got in battle formation to fight it. But before Lin could attack it, that soul speaks, telling them not to be afraid. That soul is Yu Yan's remnant soul, who was the owner of the Divine Flame Staff. Seeing Yu Yan's soul's face, Yi Yi immediately recognized it, asking if he is really Master Yu Yan. Yu Yan was a little surprised, asking Yi Yi if she knows him. Hearing their conversation, Lin understands that this soul is Master Yu Yan's soul. Both of them kneel down and greet him. Yi Yi told Master Yu Yan that she has seen his portrait in the Shengxia Museum, where his great deeds were documented. Master Yu Yan was amazed to hear that, saying he had been dead for so many years, and she still remembers him. That's wonderful. He told them that he doesn't have much time. The battle just now consumed a lot of his energy. He asked them to listen to him carefully. Master Yu Yan told them the story about the past. He explained that back then, a space rift appeared on the third battlefield. That rift connected the human race and the Abyssal world. The great demon king of the Abyssals led a large-scale invasion of tens of millions of demons. And he, Yu Yan, led the first legion of magicians to fight them. Finally, they launched a forbidden spell and defeated the great demon king and his army. And in that battle, Master Yu Yan got this space crystal. Inside this crystal is recorded a place in the Abyssal world. He told Lin that Lin has to look for an alchemist to refine it for him, and then with a serious expression, he told Lin to go to the Abyss. Lin was shocked to hear that this is a key to attack the Abyss. Lin told Master Yu Yan that after he returns, he will hand over the space crystal to the senior officers of the Empire. 
Master Yu Yan told Lin that he can't do that. The Space Crystal and the Talent Stone are both soulbound. Only Lin can use them. It is a waste in the hands of anyone else. Judging from his power, he asks Lin if he has awakened his talent. Lin remembers the past when he was at school's awakening ceremony. There, he awakened the necromancer job, and with that, he awakened the only god-level talent, complete increase. Lin told Master Yu Yan that he has awakened his talent. Hearing it, Master Yu Yan gets happy. He told Lin that at his second awakening, he must awaken another talent. He said he knows it's hard, but Lin must work hard to achieve it. In this way, when he reaches level 70 in the third awakening, he can use the talent stone and awaken the third talent. He told Lin that with the third talent, Lin's strength will reach an unbelievable level. There has only been one powerhouse with three talents in their history, but Lin must be the second. Lin, with sincerity, told Master Yu Yan that he will do his best. But there was something Lin was curious about. He asked Master Yu Yan why he chose him. Master Yu Yan told Lin that he doesn't like talentless people. Giving it to another would be a waste. He would rather let them rot here than waste them. However, not everyone was a waste. He told Lin he saw a miss who was quite good. She came some time ago, and Master Yu Yan was almost moved by her. It's a pity she came in a team and was a little lacking. Master Yu Yan told Lin that the miss seems to be somewhat similar to him. Well, by this picture, you all have understood that Master Yu Yan is talking about Lin's sister. Hearing Master Yu Yan's words, Lin takes out a communication crystal and shows his sister's photo to him, asking if he is speaking of her. Master Yu Yan immediately recognized her, saying, Yes, it's her. He told Lin that her talent was pretty good, but it was a pity she was a little bit off. Master Yu Yan asks Lin if he knows her, saying, When he met her several months ago, she was already at level 35, but he is not sure for now. Hearing that, Lin was surprised that his sister has improved so quickly. Master Yu Yan told Lin that the level is not the important thing. Just like Lin, only level 27. But he can already clear a level 30 hell difficulty dungeon. He said that looking at the entire human race, there is no one else like Lin who can do it. And his job is also special, a necromancer. Which Master Yu Yan had never heard of before. Master Yu Yan told him that his summons all have combat power that exceeds levels. It can be seen that his talents would be of the amplifying kind. However, there are still weaknesses, and they can be easily manipulated. He advises Lin that if he gets talents connected to anti-control skills in the future, then his future will be limitless. Master Yu Yan told him that this was the reason he chose him. Lin told Master Yu Yan that he will definitely not let Senior down. Master Yu Yan's soul slowly starts to fade. He told Lin that his words are enough for him. His soul will be integrated into the staff, making it stronger after repair. He asks Lin to find someone worthy of it. Lin told Master Yu Yan to don't worry. He will definitely not let his divine flame staff go to waste. Yi Yi was amazed, seeing that Master Yu Yan has devoted his whole life to the human race. Lin pulls all those things in his inventory, telling Yi Yi that it is because of the blood of such people that their human race can survive the threat of the abyss. He believes that humans will continue to grow stronger. Lin has decided that sooner or later, they will counterattack the abyss. Well, after getting all the rewards and clearing the dungeon, it was time to leave. Both Lin and Yi Yi come out of the third battlefield dungeon. Seeing Lin and Yi Yi coming out of the dungeon, hunters there were very shocked, asking if they really cleared the dungeon. They all were amazed because Lin and Yi Yi are the only ones who cleared this first battlefield dungeon in hell difficulty. Paladin Xing's party was also there. He immediately recognized his junior brother Lin. Paladin Xing was also surprised that Lin could even clear the hell difficulty on the third battlefield. Seeing that many people, Lin asked Yi Yi to come on quickly, saying he has a bad feeling that no good will come out of this dungeon. Hearing Lin, Yi Yi laughs. She knows that Yi Yi is worried about her and said okay to leave. But suddenly they saw an alert sound from the sky. Looking up, they saw human mages flying all around, alerting everyone that a demon is coming. They ask everyone to get ready to fight. Right behind those mages, a whole army of abyss demons was coming, saying, Delicious human flesh, here we come. In that army, thousands of abyss demon dogs, abyss demon wolves, and abyss snake demons were flying towards the hunters, saying they finally can taste the delicious humans.